hours today. A local man had no idea if, if he would ever get out of a soybean silo. And at first, the dozens of fire and rescue people who came to the scene didn't know either. This all unfolded on a family farm in Ross Township. Local 12's Tessa DeTiro joins us live from Ross Township to tell us how they finally managed to get the man out. Tessa. Well, Rob, that rescue effort lasted for three hours. Can you imagine being in that silo for that long? Well, Ross Township Fire Chief Steve Miller tells me that a big difference maker in this rescue mission was the time that they got the 911 call. He says they got that call quickly because the man's son called in because he was with him at the time of the accident. One of the family members was with him. He was inside and what was going on was they were trying to unload this silo and they had a lot of material that was hanging up and clogging up their auger. So he went in and tried to poke around and try to release some of it. And unfortunately what happened when it released, that's when he went down into the material. Chief Miller says the man was trapped in wet soybeans up to his chest. When firemen got on scene, they climbed ladders to look inside the silo from above. It's a very technical rescue to ensure that uh, more uh, material does not come down on top of the individual. For the next three hours, firemen used a special system to form a barrier between the man and the soybeans. Silo shoots or corn shoots will actually go down around the victim. And what we're worried about with the victim is having crush syndrome or compartment center from the weight of the material that's around his body. More than 50 first responders were on scene. Some were focused on the rescue. Others hosed off the silo to prevent a fire. Some sent in water and oxygen to the man. The rest worked to clean out the bin. Butler County Water and Sewer brought their vac truck out. It's a vacuum truck and we used that vacuum truck to remove some of the material inside the silo. Even in the heat and small space, Chief Miller says the man who was trapped was in good spirits during the rescue. These farmers, they know what they're doing, you know, and it, it's just, it's just, it was just an accident. And I'm, I'm very happy that we were able to quickly respond and, and stabilize the incident. The fire department brought the man here and they flew him to UC Medical. And tonight we don't have an update on his condition, but we will be following that. Rural departments across Ohio are trained in this special kind of rescue. In Ross Township, Tessa DiTiro, Local 12 News. Sounds like he's going to be okay. Tessa, thanks very much.